but I want to know how he got away with talking to me with her in the house. I want to know as well. I really want to know this. He, she, he was walking around her house showing me all his stuff and asking me where he's going to put his stuff in my house and everything. Probably blagged her head saying it was fucking someone else. But he told her I was family to start off with. Then I was a probation officer. I was everything. It's not what you think, she kept telling her. Did you talk to him that time? You are? Did you talk to him when he was saying uh, that? No, uh, he FaceTimed me in the morning while she was on the school run. And the only reason that I knew she was telling the truth, because I said, oh, he cracked open a can. And she went, oh, yeah, the can of Stella next to my bed. And I was like, yeah. And then um, I, I tried to ring him twice and he didn't answer. And she said that she was sat next to him going, answer your phone, answer your phone. And he wouldn't. And then an hour later, he rang me and he was outside. He was still at eight o'clock in the morning, mate. He said, that's what he said that was ringing him and telling him that he had to get back to the house. That's heavy off. Because I spoke to like two two lads that had just come down or summer. Fuck knows who they were. Then I got so, then so I got this from Warrington. I don't know, they just said they'd travel because he tried to tell me that this guy had offered him a place to stay on the condition that he did a job for him. Oh yeah, didn't he say he was gonna go and break someone's jaw or something? Yeah. When you go break the jaw, don't break his own jaw. Fucking hell, mate. He couldn't even walk up a hill towards the house. You are, but he couldn't break his own jaw. She fucking struggled to walk up the fucking hill to the house. I think what he tries to do, he tries to make out he's this macho man because mm. the one night he stayed at her house, he tried telling Danny that he was in a warehouse and the bloke wouldn't talk, but really, he was at her house. Just chatted shit. I just left him to me. I can't be arsed with people like that. He used to he tried to tell me all this shit and just off off lad. Fucking hell. Make it up. You just couldn't make it up. It's a chronic bullshit. People like that just bullshit just for fun. <laughs> you are? He offered one of the staff out. He says he's going to smash one of the staff's head in. But the yeah. staff member knows him from jail. <laughs> that he's a fucking idiot. It's just all mouth. No, yeah, didn't he say he wanted to be a motivational speaker? <laughs> you want to keep people out of prison? Well, that didn't work for him, did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Needs to give himself a talking to, don't he? You know the amount of people that have been and gone from here, though, like they last like two or three days, but they try and turn the house upside down. I've been here since November, me, and the amount of people that's been and gone, it's fucking unbelievable. Why don't you move into the is room then? You have your own bathroom. Nah, I'm sound with this one, me. This is the bigger room. This, uh, but... didn't Quinny tell you it was the first one in there? Mm. I was the first one in there. I was the first one in this house when it started. He told me it was him, and yeah, then you and was. you and Chris came in. Twenty was only, twenty had only been here for what twenty days, something like that. I've been here since November. I was the first one in this. This is a pilot scheme. Scheme this through the Ministry of Justice for ex drug addicts that have been into jail. And it started in November, and I was the first one in this house. I was the first one out the whole scheme. So have you got the house all to yourself now then, or you still got something on there? Oh, there's me and Chris. Just you and Chris. Yeah. It's all right. It's, it's sad when, when you don't get dickheads coming in and out. Yeah. I suppose it's good when you all get on. When you get, if you get that one bad apple, it could turn the house upside down on me. Fucking hell. Like we're, yeah, we're, we're ex-drug addicts, so if, if someone's coming in with drugs, it's that temptation, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, it's not good. You're only in early recovery. I've only been out since November. Chris has only been out since fucking the end of December. Chris, Chris, Chris is having a bad time, to be honest with you, so it's not too Is that why he's been locking himself away? Yeah. Yeah, you have to, especially when you've got people like Quinny coming in who wants the party. It's, it's fucking, it's hard. It is hard, like. Yeah, I can imagine. At least... Especially when, especially when most of your life has been drugs. Do you know what I mean? If, you, if mm. you've been in that, that situation and all your life you've took drugs, it's, it's hard to fucking kick that habit. Temptation's always there, though, isn't it? Yeah, no matter where you go, but it's like... Like the staff say, we won't, we're not the type of people, me and Chris, to go out looking for it. Do you know what I mean? So if it's not mm. in the house, we're not gonna, we're not gonna touch it because it, it's like we can, we can still go out, we can do whatever we please. Here. It's not, it's not like a like do a you major rehab. You have to make sure you stay there every night. No, I don't, because I've only been jail once. Me, I only went for six weeks, and I, I asked to go to jail just so I could sort me out. Right. I'm, was living on the streets taking drugs it just got too much for me so I didn't do my community service and they said to him don't give me nothing else I want to go to jail and he sent me to jail for six weeks and then I got offered this so I took it but the likes of Chris Chris is still on licence for like 13 months so if he loses this place or if he stays out or anything like that he can get recalled right yeah he was pretty so will he have to finish his sentence if he gets recalled yeah, he'd have to do the full 13 months, yeah. Okay, now. Whereas I'm not on any licence. Like I say, first time I went to jail, that. Oh, at least you can do whatever you want, though. I still don't, know. I still just fucking stay in all the time. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it's that's better for you. People say to you, oh, what, what happens if you go out? Well, no matter where you go, there's drugs. No matter where you go, it's on every fucking street corner. I could go out now and go and get drugs, you know what I mean? It's your choice. It's your choice whether you do or you don't. The thing is, it's all what you surround yourself with, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you could tell that day in Snowden was right up your street. Oh, yeah. I was the first one that top me. I bet you loved it. Big boss. I'm, I'm, I'm quite an outgoing person, to be honest. Like, in my addiction, I worked all through my addiction. So, I'm used to I'm used to be doing stuff, whereas other people ain't, do you know what I mean? They're used to just chasing the drug. Yeah. Not working and not doing anything. It's the ones that, if you've got no ambition either, and you've got nothing to work towards... That's what you need. You need a you need a goal. I'm moving on from here soon. They're looking for a property for me now. You stay. I, mean, I don't. I'm either gonna stay in Congleton or go to Crew or Macclesfield. It depends. I've got a couple of jobs lined up because I I drive heavy machinery. Me, I drive excavator three sixties and shovels and that. So I've got a couple of jobs that I can go to. But it depends on which one I'm gonna go for. Is where I'm gonna live. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it looks like, you see what I mean there? You've got goals. You've got ambition there. Something to work towards. You have to, don't you? You do. Right, Sarah, don't start stargazing on me again. Don't stargazing on me. I'm talking. I've been there, done that. I've just got your back part girls on there. <laughs> We're talking about what have I No, just he's just saying that he's um looking for a place. Hey, I ain't looking for a relationship. I've got too much shit in my life to fucking deal with a relationship. Fuck that. Hmm. Gotta fucking sort myself out first. That's it. Just don't do any stargazing. Get you into trouble. We've learned that one. <laughs> don't watch the stars. Especially not on TikTok. Yeah, definitely. Well, I tried Tinder. Now we've tried TikTok. What's next? I think we need to stay off our phones and go out and meet people. But when we're driving, we can. Yeah. 
I'm not used to all this TikTok, Snapchat. I fucking hate them. <coughs> oh, we'll love it. I think I've got about 10 friends on Snapchat. I've got loads of randomers on mine. It's just stories. I feel honoured then that I'm one of your ten. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I don't, you know what? I don't add anyone really, to be honest with you. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not the type to talk over the phone. I don't like it. I hate it. I'd rather talk to someone face to face me. Mm, I'm like that. Yeah. Not uh she will talk all night and all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're lucky that I'm even on this now. <laughs> yeah, but you had to, didn't you? You just had yeah, to. Oh, I had to. I had to. Well, we're glad you did. When when you when when I first clicked onto your live, I was like I started listening to you for about 10 minutes and I was like, shit, went into Chris, like, listen to this, Chris. <laughs> oh, it was funny. Yeah. When you, when, you, when you were saying some of the stuff, Chris was like, fucking hell, I didn't even know that. It was too good not to tell on it. Honestly, <laughs> Danny was, uh, he was on loudspeaker for the whole two days, every time. He was ringing me about 10 times while I was in the dentist. I had to keep saying, like, I'm at the dentist. He was Just... talking to both of us, like, Talking to my kids, uh, my kids. While well, my their dad stood there and everything. Yeah, it's some fun, doesn't it? And then used her card to go inside and get him, asked me what I drink, and I said gin and tonic. So we ordered a gin and tonic. <laughs> was that when he was in the pub? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Monday. I think I had just come back from the aunties, and I went round to the pub, and he was like, "Just have a pint, just have a pint." But I was like, "Nah, you're all right. I'm getting off me." And I got off and left him. He was fucking. Bladded. Yeah, he tried telling me that he went for breakfast with his mate and they refused to move until he downed a pint, but yet she said he went straight to the bar and ordered a pint of Stella at nine o'clock in the morning. Ugh. There was no lads there, apparently, because he went outside to answer the phone and said to me, I better not be rude because my mates are sat inside waiting for me to have my breakfast. Comes <laughs> out with some shit, that lad. Fucking hell. I don't, if, if he has been talking to like five, how the fuck has he kept track of who he's, he's talking to? He says the exact same thing so he doesn't lose yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Say the same thing to him all. You haven't got to remember what you've said to which. It's clever. <laughs> it's you think talk. if all five of them didn't know, all five of us didn't know, you imagine if we all sent him 50 quid a week into prison. True. It's hard enough talking to fucking one woman, never mind fucking five. I oh, know. I just don't know where he found the time. Because he was Cause literally he spent on... so much of his time on you. How's he got a full blown relationship and several other girls on the go at the same time? I don't know. He was ringing me up at half seven in the morning. Mm. He was on the phone to you from like what time? At night? All the way through the night until the morning. Apart from the uh, two occasions where his brother rang in and he was in the he warehouse. Was in the warehouse. <laughs> and the guy wouldn't But talk. she tried to say that he was there every night. Yeah, that, that doesn't add up. Definitely wasn't there every night. And then she also said about the pictures, she said that in... I don't get how she knows he was showing pictures round of you when he thought you were a family... She thought you were a family member. She mentioned Chris. Apparently he'd been showing him to Chris. I know. Did you send him a video? Did you send him a video? He tried, oh, to, show, he tried to show me a video and I walk off. So it's not about all that. Mate. I don't uh, remember. Did I, don't I, send... he, I don't know whether he's shown Chris it. I'm not sure. I'm not about all that. Me. I don't. I don't like stuff like that. Okay. On that he would have saved because it was on. If I sent him anything, it was on Snap. Yeah, that's what he was on Snapchat. Oh, I might have done then. But he I did, think... probably did. I, I walked away me before he even fucking put it on his phone. Got a fucking screen recorder, didn't get in and out that bath, should I? <laughs> fucking hell, show me his airy arsehole. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. Oh, I, should, oh, should, 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 should. I know, you've got Now I feel out. sick. I do. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ugh. You're not missing much anyway, you've seen what he's working with. Yeah, it's, it's not working. It's, like, it's all right, he's all me is, and I nearly fell over. Fucking hell. <laughs> is it that bad? Yeah. And you still fell for him? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> you know. Me, me, it was me and Chris. Me and Chris was in, in the kitchen, and he went, "Look at this thing!" And we both turned around, and it literally nearly fell off my chair. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck, your fucking pubes are bigger." He didn't shave or anything, though, did he? He did nah. have it really hairy. I don't know. I ain't seen it. Are no, you asking was, me? It was really hairy. <laughs> He was. Because oh. I told him I don't do hair. I hate hair. <laughs> Me and hair don't get on, do we? No. I shave. I shave all, all the time. I can't, do with, I can't deal with hair down there. Fuck that. It's when you get hair in your mouth, just in general, like if you're eating, and you get, like if <laughs> I'm eating a bacon sandwich and I get hair in my mouth, like literally my kids She's say, full on vomits. I will be sick. Hair in the plug off, she can't. She gets someone else to do that shit for her. For a second. Oh no, air fry, he's, he's a troll. He used to troll when uh, Dickhead was on it. Dickhead. They all are Dickhead in the end, don't they? They do all become dickheads. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many knobheads on this. They, they wouldn't even... I don't know. They just fucking... That's why I don't come on stuff like this, because they're, they're just fucking bellend, mate. They are, aren't they? Yeah. You have to make sure you stay in touch with us, though. When we're driving, we'll all have to have catch up, go out for lunch or something. Yeah, definitely. We'll go on that about dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave another man. Don't leave mate. me behind, though, because I'm the Bring unfit Bring a mate for her. <laughs> so, you know, I would slap the silly out of you. <laughs> fucking keyboard warriors, me. Fucking hell. Oh, he always comes on and starts. We love a bit of it. You wait till Gary comes on and starts telling me how uh, I feel so bad about my life that I have to get validation oh, yeah. off TikTok. He hates this platform so much, he spends his life on it. He wouldn't slap the silly out of anyone. Listen, mate, I'd fucking eat you around the head with me dick. Shut up. He fucking would as well. It's just long. Not that we don't it. call him Slung Boy for nothing. That's what we saved you and Danny's phone on there. Who I called Slung Boy in my phone. Never got a chance to see his Slung, did I? I know. <laughs> Where are we meeting now? Sarah, are you sure it's not? No, it's definitely not Alfie. <laughs> when are you meeting him then? Some people not. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking eat you whatever you want your sausage <laughs> your sausage <laughs> don't start teasing him with your sausage now come on chav talk hey I'm a fucking scouser mate what do you expect yeah but don't it makes anything these like. people like this they still come on the live and comment I wouldn't mind. I'm not even. I'm not even a chav. Me. I'm not. I'm not a chav at all. Don't fucking. I, I wear fucking Spice Boy stuff. Yeah, I've got a cap on. I always wear a cap. Cap. He's got a micro P. I think he has a micro P compared to him. From what we've heard. From what we've been told. Sorry, Shane. We don't. I mean, make... that's that's not come from me neither. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't even come from you. I've been shown that on the knife, a bread knife. He did. He held up a knife and went, it's this big. And that's not even hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and that come from another man as well, mate. Not a fucking <laughs> woman. You put him to shame well and truly. Oh, well, we didn't shut up about it. It's fucking because it was like that. <laughs> you all taking turns on riding him then, yeah? <laughs> Do you want to yeah, join in there, Friar? <laughs> Pegging Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. Come on the live then, you spud. I bet you ain't got enough followers. No, he hasn't. No, He's only got 16. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's how you know the trolling. Knew you were slap as well. Well, well you've got to own it, pal. <laughs> If you've got a slum. <laughs> I think we yeah, might. I'd say I was a slapper, but I'm not. Oh, shit. So you're yeah. a slapper, but you know, we're just going to move you, Shane, because my battery's going to die. Yeah. 